Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on my tutorial. I will show you how to play Resident Evil Dead Aim on PC with full mouse and keyboard support. So basically like a PC port. First off, you need PCSX2. I don't use the latest version because that didn't work for me, so I will link the version I'm using in the description. You also need mouse injector, I will link that in the description as well. Obviously you need the game as well, I'm not allowed to share that, but you need the USA release. You also need the PS2 BIOS. Make sure that you have a version that starts with at least 5. So in my case I have 7, so everything is fine. I'm not allowed to share that either, so make sure you have the right one. If you have everything, start PCSX2. I will show you the settings that you need to configure like I do. You can set up the rest like ever you want. Go to settings and interface first. I recommend to start in full screen and definitely uncheck double click toggles full screen otherwise you will just click in and out of full screen. Also check hide cursor on full screen because otherwise you will see your mouse constantly. You can set up the rest like you want. Then go to game list and add your game. That's pretty simple, just shows the folder you saved your game in. It should show up after that. Then go to BIOS and basically do the same here, just with your BIOS folder. After that go to emulation and enable sheets, that's very important. You can set up the graphics and everything else like ever you want. If you are done, close the window. After that we go to controller settings. I made a profile for that aim, you obviously don't have that, but you also don't really need that. Just make sure that these three ports are not connected and then go to controller port 1 and show DualShock 2. Here you can see my settings, feel free to copy them because I think they work very well. I will also put them in the description so it's easier to copy, as well as the function they have in game in case you don't know what a button does. If you have everything set up, close that window as well. Now we go to the mouse injector. Here you have to go to sheets first, PS2 and copy the last one on the list. If you have done that, go to PCSX2 and copy it in the sheets folder. Just like that. If you don't use the portable version, but the version that uses the installer, you have to go to documents, then PCSX2 and copy it here. So basically the same, but in a slightly different location. After you have done that, go to PCSX2 again and start the game. In the top you should see three sheet patches are activated if you have done everything correctly. Once we are on this screen, press space to pause the game and then press alt plus enter to exit full screen. Now we need to go to the mouse injector again and start the .exe. Here you will see that, but that isn't a problem. Just press Ctrl plus 1 and everything should work just fine. Leave it like that and go back to the game. Now press Alt plus Enter again. Press space to continue the game. Here you can just click on yes and press 4 again. You can now press escape and should see that your mouse can't move anymore. Now if that isn't the case and your mouse still moves freely then try the following things. After you have downloaded and set up everything, do not change any setting and don't move any file. If you are already using PCSX2, then make a clean install with default settings. We install mouse injector and in the worst case do not even move it to a different location from the download folder. Check your game ID and BIOS version and try to restart your PC. I hope these solutions work and that you are able to play the game. Please comment if it still doesn't work or if you know any further solutions. If this video helped you, please subscribe because a large part of you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you. And this is a small info for my usual viewers or people that are new to my channel. Firstly, I messed up the audio in this video so it will sound worse than usually and secondly, I actually redid the recording because this one was a bit unsmooth and I don't like it that much. But because the mouse injector suddenly didn't work, I decided to leave it like that. Because this was easily my most frustrating video. This is also the reason why I recommend to not change anything once it's installed. Because that messed it up for me every single time. But still thanks for watching and see you next time.